Scrolling social media last night, and I saw this headline. A potato-shaped planet has been discovered. And I was like, ah, yeah, tell me more. Inverse.com wrote up a story about how astronomers discovered a planet with one of the most unusual shapes ever seen, they say. Apparently, back in 2014, astronomers first found this exoplanet and called it WASP-103b because it was near its home star, WASP-103. But they noticed it was pretty close to its star, like less than 20,000 miles away. For some perspective, Earth, on average, is 93 million miles from our home star, the Sun. And being that close to a star can do some things to those around it. Think Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. Excuse me. Yay. Anyway, this planet, which is known as a hot Jupiter, not another reference to Kardashian, it's because of the time it takes to orbit around its star. And in this case, less than a day. A couple other things scientists learned about this planet. It's about twice as big as Jupiter, and because of its proximity to its star and its orbit, it had an oblong shape, like, like a potato. Why are we just finding out about this? Because those scientists just wrote a really cool paper about it for the Astronomy and Astrophysics Journal. And if you're looking for some light reading, with a lot of big words and explanations and equations and stuff, have at it. But to understand it better, to peel it back, so to speak, to get to that starchy goodness, we reached out to Chris Anderson in Twin Falls. He's the coordinator of the observatory at the Herrett Center for Arts and Sciences at the College of Southern Idaho. He tells us it's pretty unusual to find a planet shaped like a potato, at least to this degree. All planets that orbit any body at all are going to be somewhat elongated. So, for example, uh, the moon elongates the Earth. As the moon goes overhead, believe it or not, the ground beneath your feet rises by about six inches. Now, you don't notice that because it happens over a 12 hour period of time, right? So it's a very gradual thing. But yeah, so this is just that taken to an extreme degree because this planet is so close to the star that it orbits. It's really being stretched by those tidal forces. OK, so the other thing that is stretching it, Earth orbits the sun, our star, right. in 365 days. Right. This one orbits its star in 22 hours. Right, it's 50 times closer to its star than the Earth is to the Sun. Pretend for a moment that this planet was the size of the Earth and it was orbiting a star like our Sun. It would be experiencing 125,000 times more tidal force than the Earth does. It's like, how fast is that going? Oh boy, yeah, that, so that would be a difficult thing to calculate off the top of my head. To give you a sense of scale, I mean, our Earth goes around the Sun at 66,000 miles an hour. So it's gonna be a lot faster than that. But Chris did some quick math for us, and he determined that the potato planet cruises around its star, which is represented by this basketball here, at 500,000 miles an hour, which is about seven and a half times faster than we do. You know, we don't really notice uh, the sort of centrifugal effect of going around our sun. I'm guessing on that world, it would be fairly noticeable. <laughs> okay, okay. The other thing, the potato planet doesn't rotate doesn't rotate around its star. The side that's always facing the sun, blistering hot. The other side, freezing cold. Now, it's a Jupiter-like world, so it has no solid surface on which to stand. So as potatoes goes, it's a pretty squishy potato. It's a hot one, too. It's a very hot one, at least on one side, yeah. It's not, <laughs> it's not gonna be very evenly baked, I'm afraid. That's, that's true, but <laughs> crispy, which is how we like them. At least on one side, yeah. And probably frozen on the other like it was created by Mr. Simplot himself, frozen and fried. And it's relatable. How many of us can identify with being pulled into a potato shape by stress, right? I'm sure. Apparently, finding a potato shaped planet is pretty rare, though. Another one they found is currently being ripped apart by its star, mashing it, if you will. Space, it's a cold place, man. So why does this matter? Well, finding something like this helps us understand how planets and solar systems form. It's not in our solar system, by the way, this potato planet, but it is in our galaxy. And Chris tells us it's about 1,200 light years away, about as far away as the most distant star that you can see without a telescope. By the way, we are now taking submissions for what to call this supersonic spinning space spud.